Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Planet Coaster Zoo series. So, if you watched last episode, you would have heard me say that I am abandoning the park for Planet Zoo, but yeah, Planet Zoo has been difficult on me. If you've watched some of my beta videos, you would know that in the beta, the game didn't allow me to save anything. Every time I tried to save in career mode, it crashed. Franchise mode said failure to save, and no blueprints were working, so... And... Unfortunately, that had traveled over to the main release of Planet Zoo, so I can't save anything. It's kind of pointless for me playing, like I can't start a whole new zoo because I can't save it. So I came back in here and decided not, I might as well just finish my Planet Coaster Zoo series while I'm at it. I might go into Planet Coaster a little later on and build some small exhibits, like I don't know, maybe an art park or Nile Monitor. Because I, uh, I wouldn't mind losing those ones if it like, if it's a quick exhibit. Then, if I want to build a big exhibit, I, I wanna, I wanna save it for later. And also, I'm afraid it crashes. Like in the beta, I made the Lima exhibit, and the game crashed before I could finish the exhibit. So that was very disappointing, and I really don't want that to happen again. But anyway, now to talk about the actual footage you're seeing here in the Planet Coaster Zoo. So. I'm building exhibits for lions and tigers, the big old cats. And it took me a while before I actually built these exhibits because I obviously wanted them at the back of the zoo because this is the animals the most guests come to see. They're all like, oh, I want to go see the lions and the tigers. So the zoos naturally put them at the back of the zoo. So that way guests have to walk all the way to the back or and if guests have a transport ri ride like a train or a cable car, then guests would have to pay money to take those so it's just a way for the zoo to make more money then which is understandable it's like what fashion shops do when there's a hot new shoe out then they put the shoe at the back of the exit the back of the sh store so that way customers will walk past all the other clothes and be like oh i have to buy this as well so yeah anyway as you can see i'm working on a little viewing area up here it lies in between both uh enclosures so the lions will be on the left of the viewing area and the tigers will be on the right and there will be a division fence beneath them and as you can see i kind of went for a little pit design to kind of keep the lions out not really not a pit sorry like a trench but it's a gentle slope trench not a steep slope and with this roof here for the building structure i actually kind of made it on accident i was supposed to have like a uh, no proper triangular roof but then the two roof pieces do on the line so I was like oh let's let's be creative with it and make a, a, a weird kind of modern style thing you can see there with the one roof piece being higher than the other so I do cut a little bit of the time that's footage out but it's uh, not a lot I do kind of take this viewing structure and duplicate it on the right and left sides just modified a little bit but it's pretty much the same thing so now you see me working on the what is the night rooms for the lions. No interior because they aren't really good interior pieces in Planet Coaster. But I do work on the store. I use this little trick I've been using for most of my exhibits. So you have the black art piece to kind of look as a, a way for animals to get in. And have the poles on the side to make it look like the door comes up and down. I do think I replace that blue piece later on with a... I don't think the back of a window or something because that looks a little bit better looks has a bit more texture in it and whatnot so I'm not really sure why people prefer like the lions so much I don't know just whenever I go to the zoo they always sleep in like lions and ti the tigers at my local zoo which is Johannesburg Zoo I know exactly where they're gonna be every time they're always in the same spot there's one viewing area and you can always see them there I don't know why, but I always check the other viewing areas first because I'm like, maybe there's a chance they're not sleeping in that same spot, but they always are. Well, I guess now I think the female actually had cubs, so she's removed from the exhibit, but even with the female gone, the male still sleeping in the same spot. So, as you can see, yeah, I do have this little uh, electric fence thing separating, not electric fence, but a wall with the electric fence on top, as you can see with the little piece I'm fiddling with there. And I do put that um, around the exhibit where the guests walk. You will probably see that later. And if you don't see it in time lapse, you'll see it in the real time portion. But yeah, I pretty much take this uh, fence and bring it all the way up down the middle of the exhibit. 
to divide the lions and the tigers. So they don't interfere with each other, obviously. We don't want any ligers coming about now, do we? So yeah, I think that's all I really have to talk about. I do work on a pond in the tiger exhibit. Makes, and I put a, a cave for the lions and climbing frame for the lions as well. And tigers, but the tigers I did off camera. And most of the foliage work I do cut out because it's, uh, I don't know, foliage work is just trees and rocks and you can kind of see what I did there. There's no real, real method meant method for you to see on how I did it. But yeah, as you can see, I'm starting to work on the tiger pond. But anyway, that's kind of all I have to talk about. So I'll see you in the real time portion. I'll join you then and commentate on everything I've built so far. So you can see everything we did. Anyway, check in a little bit. Okay, welcome to the real time portion. Before we go and check on our lions and tigers, I got a little something something at the entrance of the zoo. You can see we're here. And I've put a whole bunch of flat rides down. So I didn't time lapse this because that was just me putting down the rides, putting down some paths and foliage, so nothing really too interesting to see, but you can see here we have the chair o plane, I believe it's called. And yeah, I decided to put this here just so it catches the guest eye. It's this big spinny ride and when it's on it will obviously be, you know, all. Let's actually try and put in testing. Yeah, it will be all spinning there and we'll catch the kid's eyes and kid will be like, Ooh, can I go on the chairs, mommy? And we'll be like, the parents will say, no, we came here to see the animals. Because that's what my parents did whenever we saw these rides. And anyway... We also, I also made a little stand here. I assume this little shed will be where we keep the chess pieces for the chessboard over here. Obviously, I can't put any actual chess pieces in the because they aren't in, in the game. God, why do you have to? Okay, I don't, I don't like this thing's music. You can stop now. Sorry, the music was a little bothering. <laughs> and I suppose this, where I put a little info desk, could be a ticket booth because we're because in my local view they have a ticket booth where guests will come, buy a ticket, and then uh, give the ticket to the guy standing over here, and then go on the ride. So I have the chair o plane. I put the... I'm not sure what this is called, but where I'm from, the rides like this are always designed like shells, so we just call them the shells. I have the merry-go-round, or the carousel. The, uh... This thing. Not sure what it's called. And the the octopus. The octopus thingy. Yeah, so that's a few rides. I know 
my local zoo has some rides. I'm not sure if all zoos actually have this many rides, but yeah, some of them do. So I decided to just put it in to fill up some space because we had it. And over here, I did put a lot of trees down in that just to kind of block the noise, I guess, that this area would give from the cheetahs. I guess realistically, the rides would be a bit further away from the cheetahs or from any exhibit. It wouldn't be this close. That was a bit poor planning in my part, but oh well. As you can see, yeah, I kind of left the trees tree line a bit more open, so that way, guess if anyone's picnicking here, because I think this entire field will just be kind of open. Yeah, if they're picnicking here, then they can see the rides, and they'll be a bit more encouraged to come across there. And yeah, the eye catcher would be the octopus, because it'll be just be flying in the air, and everyone would see and be like, "Oh, that's real cool." So yeah, I tried to put the two eye-catching rides at the edges where they'll actually catch people's eyes. Anyway, as we go down our main street over here, we approach the lions and tigers. I did also put some peafowls down here and there. We have a albedo peacock and two peahens there. Yeah, here you know, we... I did close off the edge of this main street with a big old garden planter and a there's a gateway to the backstage area which we'll check out in, in a little bit but let's go in look at the viewing areas first so first as you can see I took the main structure from over there the one you saw in the time lapse and kind of duplicated it put it over here and just modified it and so we got this cool little shade structure here where you can see the tigers the one tiger over there and it's right here by the water so in case they swim you can see them splashing around nice little waterfall a lot of foliage and uh, bushes back there so if they want to hide away from the guests they can do so and let's move along here as you can see I do have this fence as I said there's a wall and an electric fence there to stop cats from climbing over and I'm stuck. Okay, no, I'm not stuck. And this fence is just to kind of stop the guests from accidentally falling into the, ca the tiger exhibits. As we walk along here, we have the main viewing area. We have our tiger up on his climbing frame doing stretch. And here we have the sheltered part. It does also act as a weather shelter, these buildings. That one, this one, and another one I put over there with the lions, which we'll see in a bit. So from this shelter you can get a view of both the tigers and the lions. And I have the little climbing structure for the lions there. And I put both of the lions in that cave there. I decided to just go with two males, you know, there'll be two brothers. So I did put a little cave there and the viewing platform elevated one up here so I'm gonna come up here and we can check out the lions we have one that's chilling down on the cave another one chilling up on the rock yeah this is nice elevated it gives you a view into the cave and because the cave is slightly angled you wouldn't really see the lions if they're sleeping in there from there the kind of forces guests to come up in this place they want to see inside the cave So, I believe that's it for the guest view. I think we can go and check out the backstage area. Mm, I wonder if I can clip through this. Nope. I'm gonna have to go all the way around. Ah, I guess we can just fly out. Doesn't make a difference. So, yeah, this is the backstage road. Drive along there. We have a little staff building up here. So in case they want to, I don't know, discuss something. I'm not sure what they would use this for, but it's a staff building up here at the back top of the zoo. And here we have the actual night room. So lions coming through there, tigers going through there, and they'll obviously have all the rooms and stuff. I didn't build an interior because there's not a lot of good interior pieces in Planet Coaster. So just leave it as an exterior. Why not? 
So that's overall, that's the lion exhibit. Oh yeah, the, I did add the train ride going past the lion exhibit, so the train will come across here and they'll pass through the lion exhibit. And we'll maybe get a chance to see some lions. And over here for a brief section, it does go over the exhibit, so did put some poles there for support, but I couldn't really have support in here in case the cats will climb on it, climb on the rails and escape. We can't have that now. Now the train comes past and you guys can see the line. In terms of future plans for the zoo, I'm probably going to put a the station over there, join the two rails. I might, I'm think I might do aviaries there and maybe if I have time I'll put the chimpanzees put chimpanzees in, I'm not too sure. If Planet Zoo doesn't, if Planet Zoo isn't fixed for me later on then I'll probably do all of this. I might actually put my bear exhibit from a zoo game comparison. I can put this in here actually. Yeah, I just need to modify the terrain a bit. And it'll actually look quite decent I think. Be full up some nice space. Oh yeah, and also want to do a big old staff area somewhere here maybe. I don't know, I re but that's only if Planet Zoo doesn't get fixed, otherwise I'll just stick to this park. But anyway, thank you for watching and maybe I'll see you in the next one, if it actually, if there is a next one. Otherwise I'll see you in Planet Zoo. But anyway, cheers, bye!